a beam is a structural member in which the major deflection is bending so here the major deformation is bending so the bending moment is primarily generated due to transverse load so transverse load act on the beam transfers to their longitudinal axis this member carries the load throughout its span and transfer it to the ends with a with or without accompanying any movement so if we apply the load over here so this load will be transmitted or transferred at their ends to the next member which is columns or walls and there can be only reaction mean vertical reaction or there can be any bending moment as well as based on the end conditions beam is a combination of compression members on one side of the neutral axis and tension member on the other side so if we see a beam so it will have a compression member on one side of the neutral axis and tension member on the other side of the neutral axis so this lightly shaded area shows the neutral axis or the area where there is no stress and the top will be under compression and the bottom will be under tension when it the beam is subjected to the transverse load and these compression member and tension member are joined together through a shear element so if we see over here so this flange is the top flange is compression and the bottom flange is a tension member and in between we have this web so which is a shear element so we connect these flanges with the help of this shear element which is termed as web mm -hmm.